Hello, 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 everybody. Yep, we got we got another explosion going on today. Another OTEC Pro. Yesterday we had Bob Takusi, and now we got his partner in crime, the one and only Oliver Fonte. And you know him by his catchphrase, we are fine. <laughs> anyway, he, he's um I, I met him along with the other guys about three years ago maybe more uh they are a shining light of, of on passive they've helped us more ways they could imagine i felt that they would but now they're soaring on their own and i'm really proud to be their friend and their brother from uh, another mother uh i'm gonna turn over to chris to introduce him properly love you chris love you mr mr oliver fonte okay you ready go chris i'm ready uh Good morning. Uh, I hope you all had a wonderful Labor Day. Uh, it's always a blessing to have a holiday there, and that's why we get our, our old tech guys because they're always working. I have a crazy dog right now. Come here. Oh, my goodness. Marty DeGarlison. <laughs> anyway, uh, wish you all happy birthday, whoever's got a birthday today. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about this guy. I don't personally know everything about his personal life, just that his tech, what he does in tech. And uh, he's a great guy. And you always say, we are fine. He has an explosive way that he talks, which I really like, where he'll be real subtle when he's making a point. He just blurts it out. And I love that about him. He's a very, very nice guy. A great personality. And he loves him passive. We love him. And I forgot what else I was going to say today, but that's okay because it's all about Oliver Fontaine. Oliver Fontaine, you are fine, brother. The floor is yours. Yeah. Hey, hey, everybody. And uh, I want to say good day, good morning, good afternoon to wherever you are in the globe because Unpassive is a global company and Unpassive is all around the corner of the world, all the continent. So I um, want to say hi and uh, I'm fired up because uh, it was a journey. Uh, Unpassive has been a journey of success, a journey of no return. And um, I was born in Cameroon in a town called Victoria, Victoria in the, in the, uh, in the late 60s. Today it's called Limbe. And uh, I did my, uh, my elementary and uh, middle school in Cameroon where I moved to Germany. I was in Germany in the, in the late 80s and early 90s studied there, moved there, came to the United States. And uh, when I came to the United States, went back to school and uh, got my degrees and uh, my, my other, my bachelor's degree was in database. I did database work as a, as a database administrator and, and a data analyst. From there, I went back to school again because one of my friends told me um, IT security is what is in the market today. And uh, I switched, went back to school and did um, uh, IT security. And not only that, I got series of certification. I got 12 different certifications with the other sub sub certifications. Um, if I put everything together, it's more than 18. So in, 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 uh, in IT, I have a broad knowledge. I have a little, I have Cisco also. I'm Cisco certified in networking, Cisco, CCC, CCNA. And I also have a, uh, uh, um, SQL, Oracle SQL certifier, and I also have OCA, which is Oracle Certified Associate, and I also in IT security, I have four of them, from ISACA to CompTIA. So um, I have that broad, I have that broad knowledge in my in my, in my academic career because I'm somebody that likes to challenge myself, and in technology you have to challenge yourself. When you don't challenge yourself, that makes me to embark to increase my value, and this that's one thing that I've learned with Mr. Ash consistency, resilience, and uh, value and dreams and follow them because I saw that with Mr. Ash Mufara and uh, that's the way I want, I would like to that people should, uh, you know, be patient also. Then uh, I've worked with the federal government, worked, worked with the federal government for some, for some time and saw that it's not challenging and my career is going to be same position. I moved now to the private sector. I've been in the private sector now for about 12 years plus, <clears throat> and uh, um, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it, and uh, this is where I am today. And uh, when I came back from work one 
one cool day, that was a COVID period. Uh, my brother Bob called me. That was around 5 p.m. that day. I can't remember the day. Bob called me and said, hey, boy, there's this um, uh, IT um, uh, uh, business that you'll be interested. You're an IT guy. It's good that you should know about that. I said, but what is that? Can you just give me a brief summary of what the business is all about? I said, but <laughs> you know, I don't know how to sell. I don't know how to sell. I don't know, you know, how business is, is all about. So he, he said, no, you will not sell anything, but, you know, they'll sell it for you. Bob gave me a brief summary about on passive and how the whole structure is. I said, okay, within seconds, I said, just stop there, boy. Stop. Let me go look for my card. I went and took my debit card and I registered. That same minute, I registered one account. Then I started now. I listened to Ash. I listened to Mike Ellis, you know, then started following webinars, started also looking into it, got the second account just to make sure that, you know, then being that uh, my dad, my dad was somebody that always had had in their, in, in the village, when they say village in common, in their, in their local community, you know, he started, um, uh, um, uh, we call a um, dispensary, a small hut of uh, he built a small hut hospital um, a health center there then when i also look at the poverty rate whenever ever i go to cameroon at times i do help i give the love i give scholarship also to some st students then when i go to cameroon i saw the poverty rate the way things kids are the way people are living you know and whenever i go back there i always go to the bank i will change money like one hundred thousand, which is about my um, $180, 2000 or 1000 francs, I put them in my jeans pocket. I always put on my jeans short. So when I see when, you know, I give them money, when you go to the grocery store, you want to go and do grocery, people are there, they are selling stuff. You ask them, how much do you sell a day? They'll tell you, I'll just say, okay, go home, take this and go home. You know, so when when I started got, getting the vision, the vision of passing, when I talk about the vision, and that is what really captured me. That was the second thing that captured me. I'll come to the first thing that really captured me. The second thing that really captured me was that humanitarian part of it. That was the humanitarian part of it. I said, bam, this is it. You know, let me create another account so that I can also take that money to for, for, for the humanitarian part and then one for myself. You know, then the first thing that made me each day that when I joined on passive, I started looking into it where the products they were all it the products one thing that i started investigating into because i had the tool on my laptop as an it security person i had that i had that i had another tool on my laptop to track it was vpn virtual the virtual network product you know when i saw it i was like wow this is it you know and I went into it, looked into it. I saw that this is a this is a good product because it's the securing network from end to end. You know, when you work, you work from home, and that was the time of COVID when Bob called me and I joined. Um, a lot of all companies, most companies were working from home because of COVID. So no company trusts your home network. No company trusts your home network. So you order they always connect you with their own VPN, their own their, your own company VPN because they trust it. So I started looking into it and I saw that, bam, this is a, you know, this is a very good product and this is where we're going to make money. So when Ash also started talking about it, Mike Ellis, I heard of Mike Ellis also talk about it, that it's embedded with 100% artificial intelligence. I was like, wow. Then integration and then automation. I was like, wow. I've been in the field, you know, a few companies, you know, AI has been, AI has been in the world since the, in the, in the mid, late um, 50s. But they've not really used it. Companies, they've not really used it. And that and this was the big difference between Unpassive and the other IT technology companies that are out there. Because customer service, Ash look into customers, users, user satisfaction. That is that when I saw that, Ash really want to satisfy the users. Ash wants that the users, they would, there should be no bottleneck. Then being in the industry and also being like somebody that do approve us, and work with business, legal and procurement for approvals to make sure that business make help business to make better decisions by looking into security, into third parties or vendors, their, their, their security postures. I was like, okay, 
Then Ash is coming now with his vision and with the infrastructure. I say, good, this is um, this is going to be, this is going to sell like hot cake. You know, because there internally there are a lot of bottlenecks in companies when for before they buy and the way other third party companies come in to sell, you know. They, when they come, they will say they will give you 50 users, you will pay this amount of money, you go to 100 users, you pay this amount of money. So when I heard Ash say that that at that particular moment, Ash was talking that there will be though that when you buy a product, it's gonna be a flat rate, and you know, things might have changed now. I don't know, but that was then when I just joined. I was like, wow, wow, wow. So a lot of companies are going to save money, you know. Then there was some um, uh, um, uh, it was uh, it was own it was own o connect o connect had had another o, o connect had another name then so I was like wow if we can have this embedded with artificial intelligence automated and one hundred percent integration I was like this is game over these were the things that really attracted me I wanted to know more I started going out reading about more about artificial intelligence like my my brother Bob just said that we've studied. Who we'll say that we we'll have double PhD in with because with on passive, it has really increased my value with artificial intelligence because I went and I started reading more to know more about AI and the way on passive um, applications or tools or software they were as was talking about them. And when I go, I go and read about them, take more attend online conferences, you know, about AI. And my job we we'll have those, we we'll have those um, uh, benefit that if you want to you want to study whatever thing you want to study you you have that privilege so i took that advantage to study more about artificial intelligence with all with, 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 in, 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 with all the products so those were the things that really captured me made me to understand that a hey, on passive is that company but there was one thing there was one thing i knew and we were saying when when when, when um, uh, our big brother Madi contacted us and told us that this is what we, he, he wants us to, you know, I was like, but it is going to take time. It is going to take time because to build a software from scratch, to finish product, to test it, final testing, then put it to the market, is going to take between that kind of eight years to 10 years. So I knew, I got there new. I knew that this is the time that it's going to take eight to 10 years, no matter what. So it was not something that I was like, I would say that, okay, it's, it's going to be five years, six years. That's why I always make that statement, we are fine, because I knew what it was going to happen. And I knew that we are going to face challenges. And I knew that there's no success story without, without hard time or stumbling block. And those stumbling block will make us to learn harder and to, to refine things to come out with a better product. I knew that's going to be eight to 10 years. So when we are now, where we are now, I think we are within six, seven years or seven years plus. With unpassive, I don't think we're within more than seven years. So we are still, we are still on time. And Mr. Ash has done a wonderful job. What he did, he he hired for what I saw behind the scene. I'm, I'm a, I like to visualize. I when I when I visualize things, I said he hired more staff to make sure that they speed up the process, they speed up things, they speed up the building of these applications. If what happened had not happened, one person would have been in the market. That would have been history. That a company, a big, gigantic company like Unpassive, came to the market, realized all their their final products to the market in less than six years. But but God knows why. I'm that type. I'm that type that I always I always take um, uh, um, negative things and turn it to be positive. That's why I always talk about positive positivity in life and the faith. You know, but I know where we are now. God put that stop with us to unpass it that we should stop at this level and take a review about ourselves and know who are the bad guys around so that when we are moving forward, the house has been clean. And today I'm very proud about our CEO. I'm so that he is somebody that he is focused. He is somebody that is open, trans transparent, and his dreams and beliefs and faith and the value that he stands on, I believe in him. I believe in him in, that, in, the, sense, in the sense that he knows what is there in the market. He knows what the other products are. When, as, when, I, when he came to OTEC Pro the other time, he talked about, he talked about 
uh, how about our how our data center is going to look like. I was like, this is the man that he con he conducts his research before they can build a particular product. Why should I be why should I be proud of him? Why should I be proud to be a company to be in a company like Opassive? That our, our CEO, Mr. Ash Bufara, when it comes to marketing, he's a genius. When it comes to building of the application, he is a genius. And when it comes to roll them out to the market, he knows what he knows the strategy, where and where to put them and what product to roll to the market. And then despite all what not with all the challenges that he got, he will come to us and with a bright face and look at us in our face, smile and talk and forget about his, his problems. And there's a saying, there's a saying also that when you have problems in your house, when you go to work, when you leave your house, you clean your leg and leave your house problem in your house. And when you get into your office, you, you know, he is a perfect example of that type of a person. When he, when he go to that, he sit in his office, he sat down and he wants to talk to us. He talks like the CEO. He forgets about his personal problems. These are the lessons that we are supposed to learn. I've learned a lot from, from him. I've learned a lot from him. And uh, I will advise all of us that he is that guy that he has that patience. He is that guy that has that resilience. He is that guy that he needs the support from us. When he look at us, he look at the support that we that we, that we, that we, that we, that we provide or we give him. It gives him that energy to move forward. And where we are today, like he said, we are coming back with positive changes. Unpassive is that company. Unpassive is that company that I will not lie anybody being in the industry and see what O Connect. When I saw O Connect, the first O Connect and the second O Connect, especially the second O Connect, there's nothing in the market that can compare that can compete with that with that with with, with, with that OCO, with, with our with our O Connect. And he and he, he came out and he mentioned that we've not seen anything. That this one is nothing. It, I don't see any video conferences application that is out there like, like that all connect. You know, so for me, I'm so proud, I'm happy, and I want to thank Mr. Ash Bufara. I want to thank him. I want to make him to understand that we are behind him and being in the industry, know what is there in the industry. He has on passive has that weapon, the price the price of our applications. When you saw what he did to us, the founders, the, the cut, the, 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 the benefits that he gave us the, the, for, 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 for commission and the, the cost of products for us to activate, and he brought, down, brought it down again to $93. Look, you will, not, you will not get that anywhere. Companies are going to flow flock into unpassive to get up on passive applications when the time comes all what we need is that time all what we need is that patience all what we need is to support him and to make him to carry this company ahead and i know i know and i believe that he will do it he is going to do it so i want to say brakis ramadi i'm so thankful to you guys to bring me here forward and uh, to come and uh, join you guys to shine the light out there. And uh, like I always say, we are fine. We are fine because we are focused. <laughs> we are focused. You achieve. And your yeah. dreams, we should believe in our dreams. We should believe in our values and we should believe in our goals. And when you, and when you believe in your, 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 your dreams, your dreams, our dreams are going to be the blueprint of our destiny. And Absolutely. Mr. Ash Mufara has given it to us. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Oliver. Yeah, you thank you, time. Oliver. And you did it exactly 20 minutes. Wow. He's a techie. Exactly. Like, exactly. Uh, very good, Oliver. People will relate to you, but I knew that the day I met you. You guys are uh, superstars. And thank you so much for coming in on uh you know your your day off so yeah, thank yeah. You very much and, and I, I did forget one thing that is today because i've been busy happy birthday to my son he's 31 years old today so uh oliver give me a happy birthday to my son because he'll love that and what's his name again joey 
Hey, Joey, how you doing, brother? Uh, uh, happy birthday, and uh, I know you are, you'll be enjoying your birthday today, and um, God will continue to bless you, and God will give you many, 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 many more year, years, and a good health, and a wonderful life, and a wonderful stay on this planet. Uh, your dad is so proud of you, and uh, your dad is this, uh, one of the uh, uh, pioneers in Unpassive, and your life will never be the same again. You have a a wonderful because of unpassive so proud of this company i'm a die-hearted on perseverance <laughs> die-hearted it flows in the, my vein <laughs> so your you, dad, you are your life is secured and safe thank you that's oliver fontaine folks you heard the it the one the one and only <laughs> that's Fontaine. right i know he's saying sure. we are fine we are <laughs> we are fine and that's why we're not trying to be there, so we are fine you know you're Goodbye, awesome, Oliver. everybody. Yeah. Hi. Bye. Thank you, Oliver. Thank you, man. Yeah. Yep. You're Bye. welcome, buddy. Bye, you did, Oliver. Yeah. Thank you. You did fantastic. Absolutely. <laughs>